Hiya Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is for the Libra in sun, sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I can't talk today. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what is coming to my Libras in love. Please do not forget to hit the like button on this reading if you found it helpful. And please comment your story. I read everybody's comments. I do love to interact with each and every one of you. Okay. Because I love to see how the reading um, matches up with your experience. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we got. Please keep in mind at any given point, this could be referring to a new situation or a past situation. Okay, guys. It is a general reading. So let's see what we got. What's coming to Libra in love, please? What is coming to Libra in love, Libra? Libra, you have open for love. What is coming to Libra in love, please? Libra, Libra. Look for the signs. You have happy ever after and passion. Take the leap is at the bottom of the deck. Coming to the Libra in love, Le Libra. Who is coming to Libra in love, please? Libra, Libra, Libra. All right, Libra. So we have some passion here. Um, somebody's apparently feeling Le Libra. Okay. Let's go into Libra in love. Can I have six cards, Spirit, please, for Libra in love? What is coming? So you do have the Ten of Cups. Ooh, and the Empress flying out here. That's beautiful. So that's why Happy Ever After came out. Because I feel like there's someone, uh, you and this particular person could definitely have Happily Ever After with each other. I know not a lot of people believe in, ooh, happily ever after and the fairy tale aspect of it. But it doesn't feel like a fairy tale, like it's just idealistic and it's not realistic because you do have the Empress, which signifies growth. It signifies, you know, a pure and loving, genuine connection with yourself um, and others. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra like yourself was coming to Libra in love. Uh, some of you, this could be pertaining to a marriage. Someone could also be pregnant. I'm also getting. You have the seven of pentacles. What's coming to Libra in love? Libra. I feel like someone's definitely envisioning a future with you, Libra, for sure, okay? Someone sees it very clearly. Someone wants a future with you. I feel like someone's picturing you as their future wife or something like that or a husband. Um, or if you guys are already currently married, then I feel like your partner obviously wants to stay with you <laughs> and um, perhaps they want to start trying for children, okay, um, or start pl making plans to buy a home. Um, I, I do feel like there's something very strongly here about somebody seeing a life with you, wanting a life with you. Okay, what's coming to Libra in love? Libra. Yeah, that's what it feels like, okay? Let me get three more cards for Libra and love, Libra. You have temperance here. So you have two cards of patience here on the table. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. So there's a need to be patient. There's a need to compromise within relationships. Um, there will ba be balance. There will be harmony, I'm hearing, Okay. With regards to where this connection is headed. And if this is a new connection, then Libra, just understand that no matter what, I feel like someone's trying to push for a future with you. Okay, now what's kind of surprising here um, is the Page of Pentacles along with the Empress. 
okay? Because at the end of the day, um, Page of Pentacles can at times indicate some kind of learning um, experience for somebody, a growing experience. But the thing about the Page of Pentacles out of all the pages, this is the most disciplined, this is the most... Um, you know, trustworthy, reliable, and things like that. This page is striving um, for all those things in life and also loyalty here, and especially within their relationships. So it does feel like Libra, somebody is doing their best here to, you know, despite whatever you guys go through, they want to overcome the odds with you. They do want to push this forward with you, Libra, because bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, this is someone who at the end of the day sees a very, very bright future with you. Um, and they feel like this is it for them. That's exactly how they feel. Like, this is it. Okay. Now, there definitely needs to be some patience in the situation to see success with this particular person. Especially if they may be a little younger or less experienced, Libra. Um, it does feel like there's going to be, yeah. Okay, that's what I feel with this particular situation. Um but I feel like you can definitely trust this person, Libra. You know, at times, I feel like you could be very worried about where things are headed or, you know, if this future will come to pass with the two of you. And it will. It will. Okay. What's falling out to my hand here is the higher friend. Some of you are definitely waiting for a commitment, expecting marriage. You want all of those things with this person and they want the same dang on thing, Libra. That's the truth, okay? Also getting financially, some of you are going to have to be patient with someone in particular um, as perhaps this person's probably been uh, preoccupied with finances and getting things in order. That way they can have this future with you. It does feel like they have a plan for you, Libra. Okay, so there's no need for you to um, get hopeless or something like that. Just understand this person has plans for you. Whoever this person is, they care, they do love you, and they mean that, and they are fixing to offer you something here. But the most important thing here is balance, harmony, compromise within this situation to see uh, success here, okay? Perhaps you and this new person, if this is a new person for you, is taking it slow, but just understand, don't get discouraged by the um, by the movement of the connection because this is ultimately where you guys are headed, okay? I does feel like this is definitely a soulmate connection, Libra, for sure. And there's nothing but commitment and seriousness here. You could definitely be dealing with an Aquarius as Aquarius did pull a similar reading, okay? This person is completely dedicated and committed to you. And if you're questioning their loyalty, Libra, you're questioning these things, well, question no further because this confirms that this person is serious when they say they want to marry you or they're serious when they say they want to rebuild their relationship with you. All right, it's not a gimmick. It's not a game, Libra. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about that. Okay. me more for Libra and love what is coming please yeah there's probably um there's a real emphasis on someone working to be the best version of themselves a better version of themselves to be able to give you everything that you want okay or to give the other person everything they want in the situation and I do feel like there's been a strong emphasis on uh, finances, okay? Because of that. All right. So no need to worry, Libra. Um, you and this particular person are definitely headed uh, to the Ten of Cups with one another. This person definitely has a real deal plan for you. Uh, we do have... Virgo energy here. As we speak, they're making plans for you. Okay, now, this doesn't feel like a third party, but if you're hoping that this person leaves their marriage or something, 
I see this could be possible in the future, okay? But right now, it seems like they're still going to kind of put up with their situation, I feel, Libra. Okay, if that happens to be your story. Okay. All right, so what do we have for Libra in this love situation? What do you really want Libra to know? Now, I'm getting this may not be the most fun person at times. We'll just understand that their loyalty is unmatched and unquestioned, okay? I feel like this is someone who wants to learn and they want to grow with you, okay? They don't want, um, they have no interest in play, playing the field, Libra. All right, so we have go slow. Take time to get to know each other. And it does feel like, you know, learning each other's love language is important here. Someone definitely does want to uh, learn your love language. Because at the end of the day, it does feel like someone really just wants to make you happy, Libra. Okay, that's what they want to do. And you have longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Intuition, you already know the answer that you seek. Okay, so what they really want you to know is that they can be trusted. That's probably what you're worried about for some of you. Like, can I trust what this person's telling me? Can I trust their intentions? You know, are they going to walk in a straight line? Do they really want marriage? Do they really want a family? Do they really want to commit? And you have all these questions. They're all answered here. You have a soulmate, a soulmate connection, and then you have spiritual connection. So again, the signs associated with this reading doesn't have to be, but associated with this reading at this time um, is Taurus, maybe another Libra, a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Sagittarius, a Cancer. Okay. Thank you, Libra, so much for tuning in. I hope this helped you all, and I will talk to you guys soon.